Hi, this is Sheila Farrell from zingmedia.com. Welcome to my video guides on design, development and marketing for the internet and mobile. Welcome to Zing Media Tutorials. In this lesson we're going to discuss the different types of styles that your CSS can be made of. Firstly, you can redefine existing tags. Secondly, create class selectors. And thirdly, create ID selectors. In more advanced lessons, we'll go into detail about pseudo classes and other types of styles. So let's start with redefining an existing tag. Let's take the paragraph element. That will be our selector. So we'll add p for paragraph. We'll add our property and value. So let's change the color of the font. So that would be color, would be our property, and the value would be blue. What will happen in this instance is that the rule will be applied that in every occurrence of the paragraph tag, the color will be changed to blue. We're now going to add a class selector. This is with a full stop. Give it a suitable name. I'm going to call ours footer. And again, we're going to change the color of the font. So let's do color. And let's make it red this time. In order for this one to work, we would attach the class to the HTML tag and the rule will be then applied. This class can be used multiple times on the page. And our final example will be an ID selector, which starts with a hash sign. Give it a suitable name such as page wrapper. And let's change the color of the page wrapper. So we'll do color. Let's make it green this time. This will be attached to a HTML tag as well, typically the div element and it can only be used once on the page. It's very important that you only use the ID once. Thank you for watching. This and other video guides on design, development and marketing for internet and mobile continue at www.zingmedia.com forward slash video.